Welcome to Girl Talk. We're always having fun when we come in, mostly because we're coming in in a hurry, trying to quiet the rest of the group down. But we're having a great time here at Contours Lingerie off Mineral Point Road, and surrounded by pretty girlies. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. yeah, this is just like a fairy tale to walk into. I, know. I mean, so many colors, different frills and patterns and fabrics. It's yeah. Just it's, like a wonderland. It's a beautiful shop. Yeah, it, really it feels is. very old-fashioned in here on the outside and on the inside. I mean, the, the decor on the inside, it kind of makes you feel like you're in a castle and, you know, there's a style for I every I love your mood. interpretation of things, Emily. I always want to yeah. hear what you think of <laughs> spaces. Because it kind of makes you feel I'm, fancy, Yeah, right? It does. I don't know. I'm very affected by my environment and my atmosphere. And, mm -hmm. and when you have a shop, as Tia does, you need to make people feel something when they walk in. There's very strong reactions to color and space. And, um, it's a very special you know, spot. Yeah, mm -hmm. and this is special. You walk in and you feel like you're kind of enveloped in a different mm -hmm. time and space. I feel and like you're walking us through your brain right now. It's a wonderful thing. <laughs> Good at that, aren't She's I? talking about <laughs> Tia Lynn, who is a fabulous designer. And we're going to talk to her later in the show and uh, pick her brain a little bit. So you don't want to miss that. It'll be a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. And speaking of lots of fun, we're talking law. Is that a lot of yeah, fun? It's a lot of fun. These guys. Try yeah. again, Jessica. Try again. They're probably the Switching most fun gears. lawyers you'd ever meet. They really are. So though. there we go. Yeah. You know That's what? True. We're going to learn a little something about one of the lawyers. We won't give it away, though. <laughs> um, but it's worth sticking around for because there's a a connection that you'll want to hear about <laughs> after, we'll, we'll, we'll tell you that later. There's your teaser. <laughs> also um, creating environments, we're going to be talking about flowers. Yeah. yeah. And creating and gardening and things coming for spring. I have a brown thumb, so I can't talk about That's this That's always topic. improvable. I don't know if improvable <laughs> is the right word to use there, but it is. You can always learn uh, gardening is trial and error. I know, trial, and I know, know Janet's good with gardening because I've seen some photos. You mm -hmm. are really incredible with keeping your beautiful yard so so well maintained and landscaped and flowers and colors and thanks that's yeah. wonderful i do love it i do enjoy it um and kopke's greenhouse out in mm -hmm. oregon is who we'll be chatting with and i can't wait i love it when things just start coming out of the ground and things I smell fresh i feel mm -hmm. like the air changes yeah mm -hmm. i was out for a walk uh yesterday morning and saw my first little crocus me too flowers coming Aww. up and that really does it sounds a little sappy but it ignited some excitement, like, oh, it's really going to come. Spring's really going to be good here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then they do something really neat, which I'll just touch on quickly, is they, if you want to plant things ahead of time in containers, they'll care for your containers until it's warm enough to put them in the ground. So that transition that's hard to get through with little bitty huh. plants and saplings, they'll care for them for you. So, so you have no amazing. excuse yeah. if you kill your plants. <laughs> Shoot, I'm out of excuses. <laughs> well, I guess we'll find out about that after the break. Stick with us. We've got a fantastic show. We're here at Contours Lingerie off Mineral Point Road, and we're going to be back with more Girl Talk after the break. Welcome back to Girl Talk. We are at Contours Lingerie today and we're so excited to be here. We're having so much fun. It's so beautiful in here. If you haven't had the chance to stop by yet, it's on Mineral Point Road, so make sure you do. But first, we've got Gordy Kopke and he is the owner and president of Kopke's Greenhouse. Thank you so much for being with us well, today. you're quite welcome. We appreciate it. We've heard so much about you. So excited to finally have you on the show. And tell us a little bit about what Kopke's Greenhouse is. Uh, we're a family-owned uh, greenhouse operation that sells bedding plants to uh, customers in the spring. And it's on my farm that I started 35 years ago down by Oregon. And truly a family business. Your, your stepson is involved and your wife as well? Yes. Oh. Incredible. Now, Gordy, we were chatting just before the show started about the farmer's market a little bit and kind of how you've been involved for a long time. So what that brings me to think, what makes you inspired? What started Kopke's? How did it all come about? I started vegetable farming back in 1982 and built my first greenhouse. And then um, as I was growing my plants for my field production, my mother uh, encouraged me to grow some flowers for our, her because she was an avid oh. gardener. And I didn't know pansies from petunias, and, <laughs> but I could grow things. So I started growing some plants and I started taking them to the farmer's market and people would come up and they wouldn't even ask the price. They'd just, I'll take that. And I'm going, well, wait, wait a minute. It, it, <laughs> if your tomatoes are a penny a pound cheaper than somebody else, they'll go somewhere else. Mm -hmm. And flowers, it was um, a different kind of food. It was wow. a no-brainer with the flowers. Yeah, it and the light came is. on and I said, well, maybe I should be growing plants instead of vegetables. 
<laughs> Love so that. That's a yeah. lovely story. Good for your mom. Yes. Thank you to her. <laughs> and another case where mom was right. <laughs> <laughs> I love that story, Gordy. Well, so uh, inside Kopke's, what can we expect to see now these days? Well, we don't open now until um, the middle of April, but we have a full line of uh, spring bedding plants for your garden and potted plants for your containers, hanging baskets. We do about 12,000 hanging baskets. Oh, I love those. Those are, I admit, wow. the easy way to go. You just grab and go, and you look like a rock star in an instant. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the go-getter on your block. <laughs> now, you guys do so many things. What would you say is your claim to fame? Um, being a cheapskate at heart, I've always <laughs> frugal. Didn't want to spend frugal. Frugal. Okay. That yeah. a nice That's way. a better <laughs> word. Uh, quality plants at very reasonable prices is how we've built our reputation, and now we have probably the the most diverse selection of plant material in southern Wisconsin at any greenhouse, and wow. uh, the prices are quite affordable. Oh, that's so important. So that's great, yes, because that I'm sure appeals to the larger community because we know that you know gardening and flowers and everything can be expensive once you really get going on a project Absolutely. so so in that light who who shops with you who shops at Kopke's well, typically the demographic is mostly women of course mm -hmm. uh, but we cater to all kinds of people in, in their gardening interests whether it be flowers or vegetable gardens okay so if I wanted to say because I've got a green thumb and I'm you know you learn it's a learning process learning to garden you see what works in the shade and etc and over the years I've gotten better I'm not quite so impressed with myself quite yet but um, if I was to want to just you know start as simply as spreading a few seeds to get a few buds up and a few flowers to something as lavish as a huge bed and all of those kind of things you can help me with all of those things we do that and we have a, a, a well-trained staff that can answer all your questions as well oh, customer great. service is another claim to fame Beautiful, definitely a claim to fame. Well, we're all itching for spring. I, I yes. know for sure I am, and I'm excited to come into your place. When you said that you open in spring, when is that? Well, the, typically the middle of April, as the weather permits. Uh, the, the last frost-free date in uh, Madison area is actually around the middle of May. Mm -hmm. So just check your uh, website for which when you start to open? Or? Well, uh, weather permitting, yes. You can go to kopkeysgreenhouse.com and check it out. Okay. Or give them a jingle. Yes. That works as well. <laughs> that works. Wonderful. Again, this is Gordy Kopke. Thank you so much for being with us today. You're quite welcome. It's well. been so great to have you. And stay tuned to Girl Talk because we'll be back with more. We're here at Contours Lingerie. Stay with us. Welcome back to Girl Talk. We are filming off of Mineral Point Road today at Contours Lingerie, and we can't wait to catch up with designer Tia Lynn later in the show. It'll be quite the treat, so stick around for that. Right now, we're talking about a more serious topic, I'd say, talking about law. And we've got joining us today Alvarez Law and Ellis Law, and they're at 995 Applegate Road. So make sure if you need any legal advice you go check them out but we're going to tell you why in just a minute here so right now you might be seeing a new face as we have a new attorney at Applegate Road so thanks guys for joining us thank you for having us so ta introduce your your guest here Jair and this is Christopher Ellis your newest attorney correct yes thank you very much we're very excited to be here this is attorney Christopher Ellis he is the newest attorney to join the law offices at 995 Applegate Road. Now we have five different law firms in one building. Wow, that's incredible. So you guys are expanding and, and really growing along with your company. That's great. I love the idea of having so much to offer a person at one location. Christopher, what's your area of expertise? Mainly criminal law. I'm mainly focusing on appeals. I'm also doing some other stuff such as Chapter 51, which is involuntary commitments. Hmm. That sounds like some pretty serious stuff indeed. Yeah. <laughs> And let's talk a little bit about your background. So where are you from and how did this sort of come to play where you, where you joined this group? I'm originally from Milwaukee. I did go to school at UW-Madison for undergrad and that's why I'm familiar with the Madison area. Mm -hmm. I then went to University of Akron the School of Law for law school. Okay. And then I ended up back in Milwaukee, which is where my family's from. I started my own practice there. I ended up in Madison because I worked for the state for two years, and then after I had left there, I decided to start my own practice, and that led me to meeting Jair. It all comes together. Mm. That's perfect. Um, um, tell us a little bit more about your background. So you mentioned criminal law. Why that? I find it the most interesting. Uh, specifically, I like working on appeals because appeals, you argue the law, whereas in trial, you argue the facts. I find it more interesting to argue the law end of it. 
Also, then you're not really dealing with what happened. It's just on appeal, you already know what the facts are that were proved at trial, and then you're just arguing the law in favor of your side. So you really got to know the law and how it. Yes, it takes much more research to do an appeal right. than go to trial. Yeah, interesting. Yes. All these areas of expertise that I would love to pick your brain about a little bit more. But let's get to the fun stuff. <laughs> I want to talk about the fun part. How did you guys meet? So actually, we met through Wisconsin 57. We started working with the TV channel, and we found out um, that there was this great attorney who was looking uh, to meet other attorneys and mm -hmm. get involved in the business. So uh, we met through his girlfriend, Antonia Villalon. And, uh, She's right there behind the camera. You can't see her, but we can. <laughs> Before you know it, we invited him to take a look at the building. He liked it. He moved in, and his office is there now with us at 995 Applegate Road. That's so great. <laughs> this has been kind of fun for us because we've met Chris Christopher a few times, but definitely not all dolled up like this. Yeah, so out of <laughs> context for us was fun. <laughs> Let's talk about these bumper stickers that you gave us. Talk, tell us about them. Yeah, absolutely. So I that's think a little I need gift. This on uh, my car. <laughs> I was saying before we started, if you've seen me driving. <laughs> so that's a little gift uh, from me to you. I made these bumper stickers because uh, it'll give tailgaters uh, something to think about when they're following you. You do have an attorney protecting your car now. Yes. So if anything happens, give me a call, 608 358 7975. I think I might need one for the front of my vehicle, too. So <laughs> in case I'm tailgating. There you go. <laughs> Not that I would do that. I've got, I'm protected You're on both covered. sides. You're yeah. covered. <laughs> front to back. That's right. Well, gosh, what a fun story. You guys are, are uh, really fun to chat with, and um, you wouldn't necessarily think that when you're talking law, would you? But we've had a lovely time with you guys, so thank, thank you. you for sharing some of your story, how you guys came together. Um, it's really nice to have all these different areas of expertise all under one roof, and you can really, I'm sure, use each other as resources as needed. So, And good luck to Christopher starting out your thank adventure you. with That's these right. guys. Thank you so much. And uh, hopefully Antonia is easy on the editing for you. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> well, it's been a pleasure chatting with you. This is Jair Alvarez and Christopher Ellis with Alvarez Law and Ellis Law. So make sure you give them a call if the need arises. We're going to be back with more Girl Talk. We're filming here at Contours Lingerie. We'll be right back after the break. Welcome back to Girl Talk. We are so excited and having such a great time to be here with Miss Tia Lynn at Contours Lingerie on Mineral Point Road. We have some really exciting things to talk about. Okay, Sports Illustrated, Swimsuit Edition. Everyone knows Hunter McGrady is on the cover. This is a really big deal. Please, please speak to that. It is. It's so exciting uh -huh. to have a second natural bodied woman or a plus size model, which is oh, like a size 14, the average size in America. Uh, second time cover on Sports Illustrated. That is exciting for all of us because it says beauty is normal. Mm -hmm. It's all of us. And we all know who's looking at Sports Illustrated. Mm -hmm. It's the men for that swimsuit cover. And what they want to see is us. Mm -hmm. nice. The real us. The real us. And I can't believe it's body paint. Yeah. It's on body paint. And I, you can't tell right away on the cover that mm -hmm. it's body paint. No, real. it's, oh, it's going to be a showing huge. showing your real curves, too. I mean, mm -hmm. that is, your real no self. clothes. Right. It's just the real deal. And what a, what a beautiful thing to show off that. Mm -hmm. I love how you say that. I kind of got shivers when you I said, it's us. Like, they want to look at us. That makes you feel good. Yeah. 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 And now Ashley Graham, she was on it last year, correct? Yes. And her career has really taken off, I would say, in the past mm -hmm. year. And she recently announced to the world her Instagram has a ton of followers. And she kind of made a statement about cellulite. And I'm, I want to read it because it's just such a great statement. If you guys follow her, she's phenomenal, gorgeous lady. Um, she said, I work out. I do my best to eat well. I love the skin I'm in, and I'm not ashamed of a few lumps or cellulite, and you shouldn't be either. And it was a picture, it was a picture yes. of her leg. She was yes. sitting on the beach, and like nobody's leg is perfect. Everybody's got a little cellulite. Let's own it. There. It's beautiful too. You know, oh, let's own it. Absolutely. Exactly. It's so important that we all accept who we are right now and today. You know, there's no reason to wait or be like, I'm going to be perfect when. I lose those 10 pounds or when I can fit into this size dress. It's not about that. It's mm -hmm. about living right now and today. Mm -hmm. You have to take 
every single thing mm -hmm. and just appreciate it. You were designed to be this way, right? Yeah, so there's so much to celebrate and why wouldn't you want to do so in pretty, pretty panties and lingerie <laughs> and sleepwear and uplifting yeah. bras? Uplifting. Celebrate yourself. <laughs> Celebrate exactly. yourself. Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, and we've just spoken with you before, Tia, but it's so nice to be in your space and filming here because this store, obviously we've fallen in love with your designs and you, uh, but being in this store is a really special space and really pretty and you get to come in and feel really girly and special and have it be about you. And so we just want to say thank you for having us. It's, Absolutely. It's been fun and, and it's such a great stop. So if you haven't been before, I urge you to come and check it out. It's it's a, a great spot. And of course, have a bra fitting for goodness sakes. You won't regret <laughs> Do it. it. I finally did mine. It was fantastic. Um, but let's talk a little bit about you as a designer. So you recently won design of the year at Full Figured Fashion Week. So it's so such an honor to be talking to Designer of the Year. What a what a great honor and for us to, Congratulations. To, to have the opportunity. Are you going back? Absolutely. I was such an incredible experience to be on the runway with my designs and collections with Ashley Stewart and just my size and Lane Bryant. That wow. was a great thrill uh, within my career. And, what I think is really even more important is how the everyday woman is seeing products that fit real women and people that they can relate to. So my models ranged from a size 8 to a size 26 on New York Fashion Week and that, that was exhilarating. Mm -hmm. And each one was as beautiful as the next. So Exciting. absolutely, I think that if there's one thing that my brand is about, it's it's full busted and it's a full size range, but really what it comes down to is your curves are beautiful. Mm -hmm. Every one of them, right? So every, every size. One. So there is bras, panties, pajamas, robes, everything you could ever want <laughs> here for every size. But let me ask you this, is there something here for every age woman? Mm -hmm. The thing about pretty is it's at every age. Mm -hmm. It really is. And we all kind of want the same things. We want a t-shirt bra that's smooth, and yet we want pajamas that give us a little lift and are comfortable to sleep in. So there are styles that different age ranges um, you know, kind of cater to, but really the bedroom is somewhat of an ageless space. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so a lot of times we'll sell the same item to a 20-year-old that we do to a 75-year-old woman, and that's perfectly normal in these four walls. Oh, Very good. That's amazing. You said something to me once, Tia, that stuck with me, uh, which is, you know, talking a little bit about aging and youth and all of those kinds of things where you feel really pretty when you're young, and then for some reason it, it people think that you're as you age, you don't feel as pretty or you don't get to be as pretty, but you embrace that. I mean, you're pretty at every age. It's mm -hmm. a different kind of pretty, um, but you, you know, wear that confidence and, and feel pretty when you're 80. Feel pretty, you know, as you go through those stages. It's just a different different pretty as you as you go. And that really stuck with me. That felt yeah, good yeah. to think about that. Like it's kind of like a mindset. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Training yourself to think in a different way. Mm -hmm. And another yeah. thing that's awesome about you guys, I know what, how much do you say you lift women when they come in here for a bra fitting? Two to four inches. Oh my gosh. Imagine how yeah. much more confident, how much better you'll feel in your body, in your clothes, if you come get a bra fitting and, and just get lifted up. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's got to be huge. Do you have any advice for our viewers who maybe haven't come in for a bra fitting before or haven't tried anything like that? Don't wait. Not a minute. <laughs> get in here today. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Can I answer that? because I have gotten in here for a bra fitting and I was one of those procrastinators but I, it because it's a little intimidating to think about doing that um, but it is the most comfortable you wouldn't expect it it's the most comfortable experience and it's a lot of fun and I went home no kidding and threw away every other bra that I owned. Wow! Yeah, Yay. it was Way to go, purging just so that's great. <laughs> Good so, job. I know that job. wasn't my question to answer. I answered it anyways. That's okay. <laughs> it's important. It's we important. Have, we have been so excited to be here. Miss Tia put out this beautiful spread for us and all the guests, and we're surrounded by just beautiful things and it's lovely us ladies. Feel like spring, mm -hmm. spring, and kind of like it. you know, like we're Fresh. the bells of the ball, just being mm -hmm. here in general. So thank you. I love the way you deliver information as well. So please come and get your bra fitting. Come into Contours on Mineral Point Road. Meet Miss Tia Lynn, and thank you again. Join us for more Girl Talk shortly. That's actually it. We're gonna go. We're going to say goodbye. Oh, oh we are saying goodbye. <laughs> Thanks to our guests. Thank you for watching. Join us next time.